Whatever. YouTube. It's your boy Marco. And your girl Q. What are we talking about today, Q? We are going to talk about future, his baby mamas, mm. his girlfriends, and all the mm. drama swirling around his ass. Mm. Which 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 uh baby mama in particular? I mean, which which mm. out of the dozens? I feel like this is number nine. Maybe nine. number nine. I don't know. Nah. Uh, twenty six. Future, future guy. Future guy. At least thirty. Yeah, she I'm might so be number twenty six. What's uh, her name? I don't know. I don't know. I don't what? Know. I don't. Eliza Rain, my nigga. Yes, like. Eliza. Eliza. That's <laughs> anyway. <her name. laughs> anyway, Eliza is a stripper from Miami, and the only reason I know who this one is because when the story popped off a while back, she was the one that went online and said that Future put out a hit on her. And she's scared for her life. Right, she don't know right. what to do because she ended up getting pregnant by Future. And she, you know, Future didn't want to deal with her. And I guess she was just trying to put too much pressure on him. And, you know, allegedly he put out a hit on her. So this is that one. She was making a ruckus a few uh, like this was like last year. And mm-hmm. the reason I knew about it, because I was my homeboy from Miami. So he was telling me about her and shit. He used to work at the same strip club at her. I forgot the name of the strip club. It was it was a real popular one. It wasn't King of Diamonds though. It was a real popular one. So anyway, this is a Haitian girl. Very pretty girl. Fuck no. I think she's fuck pretty. No. Hell no. This girl, this girl is she has a nice body, nice big titties, okay. slim waist, fat ass, you know, petite girl. Sexy. But face wise, no way in hell. Especially for someone like Future. She looked day and night compared to the, his, his, the girls that he wife up. Joe Chavez and uh, Lori Harvey. This girl is night and day. Like, this is the girl. This is the type of chick that Future. I'm pretty sure Future will fuck with her on them, like, uh, a hot Tuesday night or some shit. Wednesday. Whatever this ain't a Friday. Was, this ain't a Friday, Friday type shorty. But anyway, apparently they was fucking with each other for about years. Unprotected. Two. I don't understand how y'all girls do that. You know a nigga is smashing bitches raw and y'all still willing to open your legs raw to him. But well, you know, whatever. Well, some girls are 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 willing to to risk that for for the baby. The bag. She No no no, not got, for the baby. No, 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 no. Let's the, keep well, it wrong. No for the bag. The, ba- the baby secures the bag. The, yeah, the bag's not so guaranteed. The, the baby, baby is it. Is the is the what do you call it? Is collateral damage. What they really want is the bag. See what I'm saying? So that's what she that's what she fighting for. So apparently she went on a show, which is called uh, a show. I forgot the name of the show, but it's with Riley. She has a little podcast, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. she had her as a guest on the show. So the girl on, was on the show, and she was talking about you know future this that and the third. And then Riley started asking, you know, that female question, how is he in bed and all that type of stuff. And she started going into details about it. You know what I mean? She's you know saying like, is it good? What? <laughs> <laughs> is it? That's crazy because was it good? That's past. Do I, at this point, do I tell the truth or do I fabricate a little bit? You don't tell the truth. You don't have good That's how we tell the truth. Tell the truth, girl. That's how we gonna connect with you. Tell the truth. Tell me. Tell the truth. Is it bad? Oh wait, wait, wait. Is it bad? Is it bad? I mean, I don't know. I mean, he's he's lazy in the bed. He's a lazy fuck, but you gotta put it on him. You you gotta fuck him. You know, like look, she looking like. But you know, it's 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 good enough to get by. Oh wow! See the video right here. Now. Future got annoyed by the whole situation. She was like, Future's a lazy fuck, which at the end of the day, if I'm a multi-millionaire, I would be a lazy fuck too because why am I working hard for, bitch? You, 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 you're blessed to have me in your presence. Like, I, uh, this is about me, not you. Like, no, yeah, it's, about it's you Future. It's about the baby, but okay. <laughs> no, I'm talking about sexually. I'm, I'm talking about when he was having okay. sex. I'm not talking about when he had kids. She was calling him a lazy fuck. See oh, what I'm saying? Okay, okay, I bet you. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So well, she was did you? His yeah. So at the end of the day, she, that's what she was saying about him. Right, right. But right. if I'm future, I'm not putting in work. Like I have the bag. Like I'm the man. Like okay, it's an honor for Whatever, you to be that's with me. Fine. Like, but do you get <laughs> mad enough to sue her about it though? 
because she talking too goddamn much. But do you, you should... get mad? Like, that's borderline guilty conscience, though. It, you don't. You don't have to be mad to sue. I mean, Quisha, at the end of the day, you're a multimillionaire. You're paying your lawyers regardless if you use them or not. You have lawyers on retainer, so why not? But... Like this girl's talking. Yo, put a put a gag order on her. It is what it is. Like you ain't got to worry about. It. it ain't like you got to go to court. The lawyers are gonna deal with that. He so, is suing her about because she's saying intimate facts about his sexual. Yeah, she talking Why, too much. That is, if you are a multimillionaire, you have better shit to do. You have something better no, no, to no, do. No, like no, to no, sue no. somebody about your intimate facts, you either are a insecure about it, no, no, or b you have a guilty conscience. And what she's saying is probably true. You're a lazy she fuck. Throwing who smut cares? On my You're name. Still gonna, who Even if I am a lazy have? fuck, she's literally his seventh baby mama. Eight, his seventh even, baby mama. So even if I'm a lazy fuck, I don't want my future hoes knowing that. Even if you're right? a lazy fuck, do you think that that's gonna put them in the way of wanting to become baby mama eight, nine, or ten? It's not. I'm sure she's not the first one to tell people that he's a lazy fuck. That didn't stop her from man, fucking him, and man, that didn't stop these, the six baby mamas before her. So man, these him, hoes out here could kill us. Crazy. They gonna they gonna open their head, they legs regardless. They're going you know to regardless. So her saying that he's a lazy fuck and him acting on it by suing her is ridiculous. So the reason why she's so mad is that she's trying to reach out the future to get child support started. Right. So essentially she's trying to secure what she's the doing bag. is get his attention. And that's uh -huh. like her and, and the other one. And future is slowing it down because future don't want to. He don't want to turn on the faucet as of yet. See what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure future knows is, is his baby. But well, he's the not day, claiming the baby yet. They, they never say yeah. that's that's one thing. Like he never addresses the baby. He don't want to pay child support yet. He got right. enough child support payments, so he won't he won't prolong it as much as he can. If he can have his lawyers prolong it for another year or two, that's what he's gonna do because he just don't want to pay child support yet. I mean, it is what it is. So then I'm pretty sure he wanna make sure his child support payments are low too. So he wanna go ahead and uh move funds around wherever he has to to get it done. So yeah, so at the end of the day, you know what I mean? This girl need to relax, and it's going to happen. It's going to happen sooner or later. She need to relax. Now, although I do feel like Future should be held responsible for, you know, child support, and I do think that his lawsuit mm -hmm. is so stupid, I do feel like she should have hold some responsibility. Again, if you thought that he was a lazy fucker, she was saying, like, more intimate details. It was, it was other stuff that she mm -hmm. was saying, too. Mm -hmm. But basically... You continued to fuck him for a couple exactly. of years. You continued exactly. to fuck him for a couple of years. So at the end of the day, like you could shut the fuck up too. Because she wanted to get secure the bag it, at any cost. It don't matter if that man was going to bring her back a disease. She's willing to risk her life f to secure the bag so she could buy Chanel bags and why, Gucci bags. Why is it? Okay, that's fine. And I understand that. She should, she should be She should be concerned about her health, etc. But at what point does he worry about his health too? Because well, hey man, hey, that's him, man. Hey, no, man, yeah, man. but that's okay. Well, that's her. I, I too. think it's crazy. You can't myself, say like, like you can't be like, well, she needs, she's trying to secure the bag, and she's this, this, and this, and she, then say that's is. him. He's a whore too. So it yeah, is yeah, him. I'm not, I'm not dismissing him. I'm not dismissing him. But yeah, I'm well. saying is, it, it's crazy to me that you, these girls talk about, oh, they want to be clean, this, that, and third, and you got a man out here that you know is fucking bitches raw, left and right. And you're still willing she to, she to open your legs. Have you heard her say she wanted to be clean? Maybe she wanted well, to be identified as a whore. We don't this know her story. Crazy. This is crazy at the end of the day. So I'm, I'm at the end of the day, it's just sad. Not only about the disease part. Forget the disease part. It's sad that you will put your child in this situation. Don't you There's think your child. There's a baby involved. Exactly. And now you're getting sued. Why would you want to? Why would you want to have a child by future? It's not like future is sitting there actively in every child's life. Future is a busy man. He has to do concerts, especially record. to take care of seven it, children. He can take care of them financially, but can he take care of them no. mentally? Like and you don't got a, time. That has been a debate between Sierra and the other baby mamas and everybody so you else gotta, that he can't you gotta sit there and act you gotta sit there and ask yourself what type of woman is that to put their child in that situation why wouldn't he, don't you think he should he should your child should have their dad in their life seeing them weekly daily two consenting adults having sex without protection and creating a child I mean that doesn't that's not her responsibility only that she wasn't the only one doing that no 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 I'm not I'm not saying it's just on her I'm just saying like 
I'm just calling the spade a spade. Like she bugging the fuck out. She should have known he better. He is too. Say they are bugging the fuck out. You can't say she. Yeah. I mean, but future is just being future at the end of the day. So he's just She's, being future. Eliza's just being Eliza. Is that her name, Eliza? She's just being Eliza. That's sad. That's sad. Yeah, now your child. Sad. It's now your child will see her father once in what a once a year. That's both, <laughs> once their, every that's two both years. of their issues. That's not just but her you, issue. But you got the bag though, Eliza. You won, I guess. You got the, the bag though. The child has the bag. <laughs> what since what the child do not have the bag. All right. These girls the are using the bag. money to get all kind of things outside of what child support needs. Wait Gucci till the day. I cannot bags, I cannot stores. wait to the day. Where the government says you have to produce receipts on everything you spent the child support check on. When that day comes, a lot of you hoes. It's never going to happen. <laughs> the child support is going to be reduced on a lot of you hoes. A lot of y'all going to have to get second jobs. No, All you right? know what bitches is going to do? They're going to sign their child It's doomsday, swimming, bitch. Dance, tumbling, sign them up for everything. <laughs> And fucking bring the receipts back. <laughs> Bitches know how to get around shit. The fuck are you talking about? I don't say shit. <laughs> fucking do. Sign that fucking kid up for everything and show the receipt. All right, yo. It's your boy, Marco. And your girl, Q. And we'll be back. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be back to y'all, you know, in the next couple of days with some more hot topics. You heard? Holla. One. Yo, yo, real quick, I was editing this out and I came across this video from Miami Tip, who's a stripper down there in Miami, who knows Eliza, and she really broke down the whole Eliza and future situation. Um, she basically was saying what I was saying, like, I could just tell what type of female this is, but anyway, go ahead and listen to it, and we'll be back at you next time. Obviously, or maybe it's future, or maybe they could have had the same, you know, relationship with someone, but that would mean the world is really, really, really small. So, anyway... I just wanted to weigh in on the beginning of the story. Me and Eliza Rain was cool for a while. You know what I'm saying? And But she fucked over two of my best friends, so now she the op. So I don't feel like I'm obligated to hold anything in. So I'm going to tell the real story and what it really is. Um, When Eliza Rain first started messing with Future, she told everybody. Everybody knew. You know what I'm saying? The whole club knew. Um, Then when he started, you know, I guess, going, having sex with her unprotected, she told me, she like, bitch. This nigga, the last couple of times we've been fucking we didn't use O'Connor, kind of, da, da, da da So I'm like, oh shit. Like for real. She's like, yeah, bitch, I'm about to start taking fertility pills because I'm about to have this nigga baby. So now we know the only reason you want to have this nigga baby because y'all ain't no in no monogamous relationship. Y'all ain't come to no agreement. Y'all ain't together. He just come call you when he come in town, y'all fuck. It's because you want the money and because that's future. So now I'm just looking side eye, like, are you sure you wanna have a baby by this man who have 10 other baby mamas and allegedly don't take care of them or give them problems. Like, mm, okay, but so with yourself, girl, get that check, whatever you want to do. So now she come back, she, she, she takes the fertility pills and she do it for like a couple of months or whatever, almost a year. She doesn't get pregnant. But as soon as she stopped taking the fertility pills, she get pregnant. So she come back, she like, tip, I'm pregnant. We was like, oh shit, like. Bitch, so you gonna keep it? She like, she wasn't sure, or maybe she was faking to me like she wasn't sure. But then eventually she was like, she gonna have a baby. Future's ignoring her. She's been calling him, trying to, you know what I'm saying, come to some agreement. He ignoring her um, on purpose or telling her to get rid of it or whatever she didn't want. She didn't like the way that he handled the situation. So out of spite, she was really gonna keep this baby. She probably already was because of the money, but now it's just more added to it. So now, um, but now she don't know who the baby daddy is between Future and another, you know, big name artist who she was messing with at the time. And I ain't gonna say his name because he my dog and it ain't out there, you know what I'm saying? And plus I gotta have some ammunition just in case, you know what I'm saying? Um, but she know who it is. Y'all can ask her who it is. Um, so she tells him, because she don't know who the baby daddy is, she tells him like she wanna find out if the baby is a girl or a boy. She ends up some way, somehow doing a blood test and being able to prove before the baby is born that it is actually Futures and not the other guy. So now she like, oh, I'm pregnant with Future Baby. She going hard, okay? Then she's like, I'm about to go to the blogs, blase, blase. So we had planned for her to go to the blogs in January. I'm like, bitch, if you're going to go to the blogs, make sure you get money off of this shit because all his other baby mamas is straight. You need to make sure you're straight. She had a boutique at the time, like put the boutique, the name of the boutique and, you know, the link in your bio. So all the fans, the haters, the supporters, whatever, all the traffic could drive to your boutique. She like, yeah, bitch, da, da, da. So she was gearing up to 
you know, reveal that she futures next baby mama in January. But I guess, you know, shit spiraled out of control with her in future and things happened to where she came out early. So when she came out, I was really surprised. And she wrote, remember when she wrote that like 15 letter book on Instagram and in the, in, in the book, she like, <laughs> Not an actual book, but y'all know what I'm saying. So in the book, she's like, um, you know, I thought my baby daddy would, um, I thought he would respect his privacy and I wouldn't have to do this, blase, blase. Now, first of all, you was already planning on coming out, girl. You was already planning. I was just really appalled at the way she, the angle that she took in this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she the victim. So then... You know, she put in how her and future, you know, their relationship was decent and they was, no, he just called you when he wanted to come in town and he wanted to fuck. And that was that. Y'all didn't have no agreement to be together. So just like there's deadbeat dads, there's deadbeat moms too. When you don't put your kid first emotionally, financially, physically, mentally, you know what I'm saying? You are a deadbeat. I don't see how you are a mother and you already know that this man allegedly don't take care of the rest of his kids. You know what I'm saying? The rest of the football team. Now you want to add one just because you want to gain from it. You're not thinking about this child's mental stability when, you know, their mental state when they're born and they can't see their dad as often as they want to or ever. And the dad can't make the first graduation, first football game, um, you know, and everything else, you know, that messes with kids' brains. So if you're not putting your kid mental state first, that kind of puts you in the category of a um, Debbie, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, from the previous kids, it, it ain't really been no great stories told. So it's like, you got to kind of question the mother. In this in this situation, it kind of goes, it definitely goes both ways. And um, I just wanted to tell the real story that this baby wasn't, she didn't want this baby because she just wanted to have another baby. She loved to adore kids. No, okay? This baby was a check baby, okay? Because even when we talked about the child support, she was like, I'm going to get child support. Da, 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 da. I was like, um, well, you know, the more kids you have, the less the child support is. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard. So we looked into that. None of the other baby mamas had him on child support. So she was going to be the first one, or probably still is going to be the first one to put him on child support. So we were like, bitch, you hit a leg, you better hit a leg, you better get a check, bitch, da, 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 da. So she really going hard about this future shit. And future is, and he, J. Rayanna, and anybody know Eliza, we know that bitch is dangerous and that bitch is going, is going hard and she's going all the way until she gets what she wants. I just want to say that, you know what I'm saying? State the real facts and what it really is. And she got, y'all got to stop really kind of feeling sorry for her. Oh, she's a mother and the, and the daddy, he wanted the baby. If he didn't want the baby, he shouldn't have laid down, whatever, whatever. She shouldn't have laid down either because she don't, she don't want the baby because she loved the baby and all this shit. She wanted the baby because she knew she, a check was behind the motherfucking baby. Okay. And I'm just saying one in every minority has herpes. It, there's a lot of baby mamas and a lot of sex on this roster here. So instead of having these paternity blood tests, they need to go figure out if it's any more that came with it. Okay. Tooshes.